Do you like my makeup? I didn't even know that you were wearing me. <laughs> I don't know if it makes you look older or... Good morning guys, welcome to today's video. Sophie gave me um, I'm just plugging in my battery. Sophie gave me a makeover today. She did my hair and she did my makeup. I've never worn makeup my whole entire life. It's not something I like. And then as I've gotten older, I feel like it makes me look older and because it settles into your pores and that's not my favorite. So I don't ever wear it, but I think she did a really good job. It's good for her. She's practicing. She's been perfecting her own makeup. She always looks gorgeous when she wears makeup now. She, did you put makeup on today? Yeah, she does it really subtle. And she doesn't put like a lot of stuff on. She just puts on like some face stuff and some mascara, which I love that. It looks like I have a lot of mascara on because I curl my eyelashes. Yeah, so that's a tip and trick. Do you guys want to see a makeup tutorial on Sophie's channel? Yes. Because she could do that. When Sophie was really young, she always wanted to be a hairdresser. That was her thing. She always wanted to like do people's hair and makeup. And... I don't know. She doesn't now. <laughs> Anyways, welcome to today's video. Today we're just getting ready to start school. It looks sunny and gorgeous out there. Did you leave the Minnie's blanket off? Honey? Honey's blanket off? All their blankets are off? Did you guys see Honey yesterday when I went into the barn, last night when I went into the barn, and she saw me and she just came walking over to me and then puts her head up and just looks into my eyes like, oh. Man, that bowl has my heart. She's just so, 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 so sweet and so amazing. Having the opportunity to, like, make her the way we want her has been shocking, shockingly easy. Like, she's such a good girl. Whenever she does something that is undesirable, we tell her not to do it. And she listens like that. Like, and then she remembers forever. Like, she's just such a easy baby, but also the sweetest little thing. Like, when she settled in and learn like where her place was in our farm. Oh man, she has just been a dream. How do you feel about your mini now? I love her. Yeah, we all. I love more. You still love Willow more? Yes, she always be my favorite. Aw, I love that. I think I would be like that too. But I don't think I'd love her more. I think, and plus you can't really do much with Honey right now, so it's hard to like, but Mill. Mil Will, here, bring it over. Willow is her little baby. Willow is literally her dream horse, like her dream mini. All right, do you guys know, this was going around Instagram a few years ago. Basically, you're supposed to try and get all the blue balls on this side and get rid of the yellow side. And then you have to fix it on this And side. then you have to fix it on this one. So this red one needs to go over here. Oops, let's see. So it's hard to do with one hand but you push it up. They do it so fast. This one's stuck. Why is it stuck? Yeah, it's so hard. It's so much harder than they make it look. How do you get the green back over on the other side? That game is not a part of our school. So anyways, welcome to today. We're going to get school done and then we'll see you guys in just a little bit. So today, so today is nail cutting day for our dogs. No, it's okay. You're okay. And this is the very first time Sophie's ever done her dogs by herself. <laughs> Come here. What's up with us? What's that doing? And we were just remembering about when she had Cookie. Good girl. Yeah. You're such a good girl. And Cookie. I yellow on this one because it's black. Yeah, the black ones are hard. So Cookie would do this thing where as soon as she would see the nail clicker clippers, she would just scream at the top of her lungs, and it was so funny. <laughs> she would just scream. Good girl. Good girl. Anyway, Daisy has actually been so phenomenal, but she's like a kind of dog that likes to be touched. Good girl. What a good girl. Yeah. <laughs> she's so cute. Backbeat. She's like, backbeat? Yeah, you like being rubbed, huh? <laughs> I always feel like Daisy actually loves the whole thing. She's like, yeah, I'll just lay here. <laughs> Anybody who wants to rub me and touch me. That's a lot of nails. Yeah, that's a lot of nails. You said you're a good girl. We'll see how, we'll have a competition. Macy is a mess. She hates it, but she's not too bad anymore. But I have to wrap her in a blanket. I have to bunny wrap her. <laughs> 
She would love being wrapped in a blanket. She would love being bunny wrapped. We should do it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Look at her. Yeah, she do my nails. <laughs> she feels like she needs to be beautified. And that's Molly. <laughs> that's how Molly lays. All right. You're Good girl. You're all I might, I might trim a few of those up a bit more. She has no fear of that. And she doesn't have really long hair, so like it's easier. Yeah, it's easier. <laughs> Molly's like kill me now. Yeah, Molly's not in yeah, love with it. I, Molly actually files her nails really well. Good girl! Yeah! yeah. It looks really bad. I swear our dogs just, like our pu the puppies that we got, they just hey, love, they just love being touched so much that they will, <laughs> they will suffer. Oh, no. yeah. She's doing that thing where if I don't look at it, it won't be real. <laughs> And then, <laughs> this is the back feet. <laughs> oh I can't help it. It just makes me laugh so much because, honestly, our puppies just don't care. They're just like, yep, yeah, you just touch me and rub me and feel me and I'll be happy. This is funny. <laughs> you having fun there, Miss Molly? It is actually gorgeous out. I can tell Chino's happy because when he's cold, he stands at the gate and watches the, and watches the house. Going down to the barn each day is my favorite Hello. thing. Hi, Hello. Hello. Look at Honey with her ears forward. You got your ears forward? <laughs> They're go. straight up. Go, 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 go. Okay, so we have something that we want to do with the mares, like something new that we want to play with them. But we don't have time. We have to go do a little bit of shopping. You guys, everyone loves this foal. Even Gabby loves her. And that's like the weirdest thing because Gabby always like tries to pretend she's tough. Like she doesn't like anything. So why don't you want to ride your horse in the Santa Claus parade? Because I'm already walking the dog. Because you wanted to take your dog? Yeah. I've already cleaned the arena this morning. But I see there's already still poop again. What do you think, Gracie? How are you with bells? Hey? Oh my gosh, she's so cute. We're really close to parade day and we still haven't completely solidified our, our costumes. She's so cute. She's just standing here with Gabby. Put it on her and, and then when she walks, see what happens. You like them? <laughs> I love that we have three ponies, you guys. I absolutely love it. Three, it seems to be like our lucky number. We have walk weird, Mom. three of each thing. All right, you didn't put the back ones on? Oh, you're putting the back ones on now. All right. So for sure, Willow's going to have red legs, a red body, and a red hat, right? So Sophie's kind of taken all that. I have to dress Gracie up. And then our friend is probably going to ride her in the Santa Claus parade. And then Honey is staying home. Adorable. I think we need to put like bells on them. <laughs> look at how cute she's going to look. Oh, hello, baby. Hello, baby fool. Mm, she's so cute. I know, that's like my new saying. I can't stop saying it. Ever since we got the baby, all I say is she's so cute. You look really cute, Willow. Why don't you put on her Santa blanket? Don't, don't back up. <laughs> well, hello. That's her new thing. <laughs> that is her new thing. She's a ghost. She's a ghost pony. What happens is that you're just standing there minding your own business, and then before you know it, and then before you know it, she's just behind you. Like you just turn around and she's there. Oh, I could just eat her up. She's so good. Like she's so good. But she's really quiet. Like you don't hear her. Watch this. <laughs> okay, watch. <laughs> That's what she does. Oh, and now there's two. Oh my goodness.
if you saw my birthday video yesterday, then you might know that I got um, a book and some breeches, and I wanted to update you guys on them. So the book that I got is about hoof health. Oh my gosh, I've like, I'm addicted to it. Every time I sit down and read it, Gabby's the jingle girl. Every time I sit down and read it, I can't believe the stuff like, stuff that we've done wrong in the past and stuff that we've done right. We've done so many things right instinctually. Like, that is so good. Which I guess is why we have such little hoof problems in our little herd. I also like learned about how thoroughbreds and quarter horses, how everybody thinks that they have bad feet. But really, like, when you're a baby horse, if things aren't done the exact right way, you could end up with bad feet. And it's not necessarily a breed thing, but like how quarter, but like how thoroughbreds are trained so young and how training so young can cause problems with your feet. Like I just learned so much in standing in a stall or standing in mud when you're a baby for long periods or for most of the time is likely what creates the whole bad feet situation. In fact, they can have perfectly fine feet. All right, so she's good. Yeah, so she's good with the bells. I want to see if Gracie's good with the bells. I learned about side bone, which I already knew and had an interest in. I learned about baby feet. I learned, like, I've, learned, I've read a lot of that book. I'm going to call Gabby the jingle girl. Or the noisy jingle girl. Put it on Gracie and let's see how she reacts to bells. Because what I'm thinking is I might want to put, like, bells around her ankles. Not so that they hang down, but... You got dirty, Gracie. How'd you get so dirty? <laughs> All right, well, she's okay with the bells. All right, well, she's a jingle bell pony and she's good with bells. <laughs> Missed it again. Oh, Ruby. Ruby is so obsessed, man. How many times have you seen Ruby hanging out with the horses? <laughs> All right, let's see. Please don't go in the mud. Come Please here, don't Annie. go in the mud. Come on, out of the bucket. Out of the poop bucket, Missy. <laughs> She's so cute. <laughs> oh, she's so cute. <laughs> Look how tall she's gotten. She comes to me. See, she loves me. Yeah. I know she's not gonna stay this size, but imagine like a, a actual mini this small. They'd be so hard to keep the weight off of, but I love the shape that she's turning into. Hi, baby. There's nothing cuter than a baby in red boots. <laughs> She's so cute. Like when we first got her, she was like nervous and shy. <laughs> and now, and now she's settling in and she's just adorable. Sophie said the other day, like, it's kind of boring having a baby because you can't do anything with them. But that is like just, just what happens. You can bond with them and you can spend time with them. And to me, that's like worth it. now. Molly has decided that that toy is hers. Look at Ma Ru Ruby was gonna play with her until her mom came. <laughs> She's peeing on the boots. Sophie's like don't pee on the boots. <laughs> Ruby is dying to play with the foal. Like she really wants to play with the foal and Gracie's like you stay away from my baby. Gracie's not mean to her or anything. Of the day that Sophie pretends to be a baby horse so that she can like get the 
Minnie running and playing and acting like a baby. It's really good for her feet <laughs> and for her legs. She's having trouble because her boot's slipping down. I, the other thing I wanted to update you on is the new breeches that I got. Honestly, the coolest breeches. I didn't think they were going to be that amazing. I was worried they'd feel like really fluffy and puffy and make me feel like super chubby. Oh, so they're just like regular breeches, and but they're super warm. And they, oh, they're amazing. I love them. I was shocked when I put them on last night. I swear, honey knows her name now. I swear she comes to her name. So the thing that I asked for for Christmas was a pink dressage whip. That's what I want. Well, when I first got Penny, she was really terrible. What is that coming in here to do? Oh, when I first got Penny, she was so terrible about, she was terrified about whips and brooms or anything that was like, like a stick, basically, a stick shape. And all that work I did with her last winter with my flag, which I don't know where my flag is. My flag is wrecked. And then Sam bought two other new flags. I don't know where those are. Now that we did all that work, she couldn't care less about sticks and stuff. And so I want a dressage whip. I want a pink one, a gel one, because it's so cute. We're gonna go to the mall. Gabby's already gone up to the house. Um, we have to change our boots and change our coats first. I don't wear coats. But I have a coat, I don't wear it. I'm actually excited for her vet to come again because I already have more questions. Like it's only been a couple of weeks and I already have more questions. <laughs> But I love like being able to talk things through with our vet and with like our chiropractor and stuff. Also, I wanted to update you on Gabby's Advent Calendar Christmas tree. Looks cute. It's heavy though. So we put numbers on some of them. We got to finish putting the rest of the numbers on. We staggered them, which I think is kind of silly. We maybe should have started with like one, two, three. So it got messy as the tree went down. But that's it. It's huge. I say we hang it up on a wall somewhere. Actually, I don't even know if you could hang it up. It's just too, like, much weight. Don't you know that you're beautiful?